This is Papa Frank, and today I'm giving you a guide to campaign leveling and what you should focus on. All right, let's go. So before we start, I'm trying to give you this guide in the order of which I think you should implement it. Now, the first thing that you need to focus on is uh, simple. Campaigns are like tech trees in other games like uh, War Thunder and World of Tanks. So what you need to focus on is every time you want to level up a campaign slash a faction like allies versus the axis you want to make sure that you choose the one that you are going to stick with the more you play the one faction that you want to level up the more xp that you are going to get i know it's common sense but why i'm telling you this is that heading down into multiple branches is just just as you would do in War Thunder or um, World of Tanks, it doesn't help you. Now, the main reason why it doesn't help you is because there isn't a tiering system in this game. So it's not like if you only have if you if, if I'm at level eleven, right? And I'm let's say I just reach level ten and I have the BT seven. Nobody nobody's gonna gonna care about it and that's because you will still meet people that already have the PE free for example right they will already have the T28 on the axis side on the axis side they will already they will already have uh the the Panzer 4 the Panzer 4 E and it they, so because there isn't a tiering system you want to focus on getting as much XP as you can in your current campaign so that you can unlock the things that counter the enemy faction, right? So the T28 might counter a Panzer IV, but <laughs> will a T60? Will a T60 counter it? No, right? So that's why you want to focus uh, all your efforts into leveling one campaign at a time. Now, the second thing that I want to discuss is free to play free to play players should focus their gameplay only like like focus on the gameplay only meaning that battle tags <clears throat> right battle tags are one of the most important things now here i'm showing you a screenshot where there are multiple things uh, at stake here and for premium for premium players this is the case right it's uh you have you have all those all those bonuses you want to uh, focus on 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 getting that uh the most xp that you can get with your with your squads and so on and so forth i'm gonna get in, uh deeper into that later but what you need to what you need to understand here is that <clears throat> you see there is a base xp right that 4.6k xp right is divided into each and every squads that I played this match. So what happened is that victory, for having a victory, gave me a 1.5 multiplier. And for having two battle uh, tags, I gained a plus 40% boost on top of that, if that makes sense. So it's a 1.5 and the 1.4 multiplier that do stack they stack in between each other all right so what happens is as a free to play player you want those tags see see how here this guy has an attacker tag battle tag achieved that will roughly be a 20% a 1.2 multiplier to his xp now the same thing happens with each and every one of your squads so if you win and if you have that uh def have that battle tag bonus it's gonna be great yes the first thing is to focus on focus on the medals the battle tags that uh, that give you a huge reward all right now that's that's roughly um 10 to 20 percent bonus per tag and you are going to get easily distracted by trying to farm to farm kills so there's there's a downside to this right but a win so no matter what you do a win is a 50 percent bonus there's that try to help your team 
try to sit on the cap points, try to push that win, because that will be a flat 50% bonus to your XP. So no matter if you get a battle tag or not, great, good for you, but if you if you lose, you're losing out on much more XP than 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 if you would just farm for kills. If that makes sense. <clears throat> so now I'm going to I'm going to head on into the premium premium section because I need to break this down. So how how else can you boost your XP even more? Right? So you're you're already you're already raising that base XP. You already have battle tags, you already you're already winning the games. How do you do more? Now, the premium time gives you a flat a flat 100% XP bonus to your base XP. And that gets multiplied by your win and by your battle tags. It is it is a huge boost. Now, I, I'm going to give my thoughts on this at the end of the video. I'm going to discuss this and I'm going to uh, uh, give my own personal opinion on how things should things should go for for uh, premium players in uh, in this so that so that uh, premium players do not do not get hurt that much. But let's just stick to the to the task at hand. So the premium time is a hundred percent more. There's nothing else to note here, all right? So that's just that just doubles your base XP. But premium squads, and <clears throat> I'm I, I just took the tank brigade right here as an example, just so that it's the simplest way to calculate the the final XP that you get, right? So I, in, in this match, I did nothing else to just play this tank. And I tried to stay alive as much as I possibly could to not get locked out so that I have to use other squads and so on and so forth. Anyway, so what happens here is you get a 1.3k XP on top of which you get your premium time XP. And on top of that, you get your premium squad XP, which is another 100% more XP. So while playing premiums without squad leveling, you lose out double time on XP for your squads and soldiers that you should be leveling. So I don't think you should be playing premium squads, especially if you're trying to level up your uh, level up your your squads, uh, your your premium squads and your all, all of your. Uh, soldiers because soldiers uh I, i'm going to discuss quad leveling and infantry leveling in 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 another in another video uh but there, there are there are two upcoming videos but let's just stick to to what's important right now we are trying to focus on leveling the campaign so while playing premium squads we'll lose out on squad and infantry leveling for your other squads you are boosting, it's like you're taking that XP from there and putting it into the campaign, into the campaign uh, uh, XP pool, right? So what, what you're doing is you're creating a huge base that gets multiplied by your win and your battle tags. And that's why when you use premium squads, when you use premium squads, this is what happens. You use premium squads, you create a huge base, base pool XP, and you multiply it and you get around 30k XP games. Holy shit. That's like doing almost, if, if, you're, if you're already at, at a high level, that's like a quarter of a level, right? So that's, that's, a, that's a huge boost. Now, <clears throat> I, need to, I need to discuss a few things about this. And uh, let's just head into the section of my um, of my personal thoughts. My take on this is, I think the XP progression is great, but I feel like there's a huge gap between base, I mean non-premium and premium XP. I think Gaijin should shorten the gap by giving free to play a bit more base XP, so that having premiums, having a premium, isn't like a 
four times boost, right? So just try and, and calculate this this without the boost. You would have less than half the XP, right? Less than half the XP if if you would be uh <clears throat> Less than a quarter of the XP almost, right? If you would be just a freemium trying to trying to uh, to get where where you where you want to go, right? So I think <clears throat> Gaijin should raise the base and lower uh, lower the premium multipliers, so that you can still have 30k XP games if you're a premium player, but instead of having 5k XP without a boost and 30 with boost. You'd have like 15k without boost and still have 30k with boost. Does that make sense? So you, you feel what I mean? Don't nerf the premium, but buff the freemium a bit, you know? Take take from here, give it give it to the poor, you know? Take take from the <laughs> you know, because I played the I played the close beta and it was it was fun. But man, the progression was abysmal. It was like I was I, I was like moving forward like a turtle, dude. But now now we are we are fast and we are good to go. Alright. So guys, if you feel like I left something out or you have any questions, please let me know. I'll answer them uh, gladly. But on the other hand, if you feel like uh, this should have been more like a discussion, you're always free to head on over to Twitch and uh, hey, start a discussion on it. Alright, guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. Also, don't forget that uh, squad leveling guide. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a squad leveling and a uh, infantry leveling guide as well soon. And uh, we are going to go from there. Take care, guys. And I'm going to see you next time.